the very talented and always outrageous Little Richard. Now, were you the originator, the emancipator, or the architect of rock and roll? I was all three. <laughs> Before me, that was nothing. I know that Toilet was Toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Now, whose idea? Because <clears throat> you're very toned down, but even toned down, there's still a real Little Richard look. Yes. Who figured out? You were so outrageous. The first time I saw you, I said, don't take, uh, what's that? You know, who's that, <laughs> what's that? Because you wore, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I wore everything. Oh. I, I wore my mother's curtains, the sheets, <laughs> the pillowcase, whatever. I just wanted to be famous and coming from a little town in Macon, Georgia, my mother had 12 children and I was the third child and I just wanted to, some attention. And I decided that I put on some makeup on my face. My dad left to kill me. I decided that I would just take every, I would just, I would take my mother's dresses and just put them all around my shoulders and make shows. I, I, I was really, I was beautiful though. Oh, I, I <laughs> Very gorgeous. But you were the first to do that. Now, I was the first. Prince dresses up, every, yes, right. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yeah. And, and, and uh, uh, you know, Everybody. Prince, Prince really looked like I used to look, exactly. But he really, hate to admit it. Prince, I was before, I wore purple first, darling. <laughs> <laughs> and lavender. <laughs> the most outrageous thing you ever wore on stage? <clears throat> Do you remember? <clears throat> yes. I or your remember. favorite? Uh, <clears throat> my favorite outfit was in Vegas when I used to work with Ann Margaret and I. I had a gold outfit that I wore, green and gold shoes, and I walked on a green and gold carpet, mm. and the bodyguards would lift me out of the car. I love that. And then Liberace started doing it right after that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're so toned uh, uh, yes, down. Yes, I, I miss it because I still like to be. I still like to look good. You know, uh, um, as I get older, I really want to look good. Yeah. Oh. Uh, when I get up in the morning and see something over here and something down there, I get mad. <laughs> yes. Have you fixed yourself yet? Have you? <laughs> uh, I'm planning on. I'm trying to find the man that Michael had. I can't find him. Oh. My, oh uh, the one that Michael Jackson used. Oh, Dr. Hofflin. Oh, that's him. Yeah. Speak to me later. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 you know, yeah. Now, you also did something very brave, because I'm such a fan. You were the first performer, I think, ever to come out and say, I am a homosexual. Yes, and everybody got mad with me for saying that. You know, I, I, I didn't mind telling the world that I was gay. I was gay. And uh, uh, it's nice to be happy. It, it sure is. I was happy, and I wanted the world to know that I was happy. And I wasn't ashamed. I had been that way all my life, and I didn't know nothing else but that. And so I told everybody that I am gay. I am the originator. I, I think I was the first one of them, too. <laughs> and, and I found out later, Joan, that, that uh, God made Adam to be with Eve, not Steve, so I had to cut back. <laughs> Did you really just say that's enough with boys? Uh, yes, sir. I, 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 well, well, well I, 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 got, uh, I got tired of them boys. <laughs> I got tired. Aren't you all tired of them, too? Well. I got tired of them, and I, I just, I, I said, I'm going to let them go. I ain't going to do it no more, and that's for sure. Do you do it with anybody now? Uh, uh, we can talk. <laughs> no, well, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying. Well, Joe. Do you have a sex life? Uh, um. I don't. I, I, so you can confess Well, I'm going to be your partner. I don't have... <laughs> I haven't done nothing in so long. I, the coaster's head out of record call ain't nothing to me. I said, that's my title. <laughs> I am done it. I, I used to do it. I, I, I am done it. <laughs> It's been a long time since I had it. Um, I, 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 I am, I, oh boy. <laughs> hey. oh, I like this. <laughs> Let me ask you, we're sitting here now and you look so good. 
Someone told me, because I heard that you made so much money in rock and roll, because you were the first in all those hits, one after the other. Play a little bit of a couple of the hits, just a little bit. <laughs> They go crazy. Mm -hmm. America knows your music. Yes. Did you come out of this a very rich man? No, I didn't. See, I used... that kills me. Oh, I saw all my friends on the hill and I was still in the valley. <laughs> and it bothered me. You know, Joan, you know what really gets me? When I see all of these groups going around today calling themselves the drifters, the platters, the coasters, and, and it's no originals in the group. Right, because you're the... And, and yes, and, 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 and myself, when I see, like I see Mick Jagger too, and you know, the Rolling Stones. I love Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones. They did their first tour with me in England. Mick used to sleep on the floor in my place. And, and, and I'm serious, like the Beatles used to stay with me. Jimi Hendrix was my guitarist. And when I see them making a million dollars a night, and you can't even get 5,000 a night. Yeah. It, it bothers you. And they can't sing no better than you. And can't play no better. In fact, you may can beat them singing. <laughs> uh, uh, and you're not conceited about it either. You're convinced, you know. Uh, uh, uh. But, but let me clear this. I am glad to see Mick Jagger tour. Now, I love the Rolling Stones. I want to clear this. And to see them tour, it means that the music is back. Yeah. And I'm glad. Now I know how to act. And that's a fact. <laughs> yeah. 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 Play a favorite, viewers. Mm -hmm. 